So if you want to find out if we really like this song, well, you're going to have to stay tuned and find out. Yes. And if you want early access and uncut videos, then check out our Patreon right now. If you join, it's seven-day free trial before you're charged. Only $5 a month for some really amazing reaction videos. So thanks for watching, and welcome to the show. What is good, you sexy son of a god? It's Philly. It's Taz. It's the Taz and Philly Show, and we are back with another reaction video. Hey, everybody. It's Philly. It's Taz. We are back with another reaction video, and we're getting into uh, – it's extreme, right? That's what we're doing, extreme. Blood, <laughs> blood's thicker than – what was it again? I forgot the name. Oh, my was. God. Your memory's like a sieve. Yeah. Thicker than blood. Thicker than blood. Yeah, thicker than blood, and uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. So this is a newer song. Um I'm not sure if I've heard this or not. I was saying to him before we got on uh, the record here that it doesn't sound familiar, but you know, I'll always keep it real. If it's something that ends up that I have heard before, I'll obviously mention that. Just don't know myself. So looking forward to checking this one out. Um, I don't have much to say on it because I just don't know. And uh, looking forward to seeing what it'll be. And then I'll hopefully have some really candid thoughts. But until then, the Taz, would you like to – Give any thoughts? Would you like me to beatbox? You let me know, and then we'll we'll get into it. You can beatbox on your own dime. It's my not my turn. But <laughs> you shut up. You're gonna ask me the question. Well, my name is Taz, and I'm here to say that I am about to talk over Philly. Anyway, free thought wasn't my thing. Horrible, I had to write stuff way. down. That was terrible. I had to write stuff down. Anyway. Extreme terrible. goes way, way back. I didn't really follow them, follow them, but one of their older songs that I love, love, love is More Than Words. Um, love that song. I and actually, it. there's... Huh? Huh? There's somebody else we reacted to. I forget their name. Someone had PayPal requested it. They did their rendition of More Than Words. I just forget who they were. They sounded pretty good. They were they were great in their own right. Whoever that person is who, who re recommended that a while ago, and we reacted to it. Say something, hopefully, in this comment. But anyway, back to Extreme. I haven't heard them in a very long time, so I don't know if their style changed or what. Haven't heard this song yet, so I'm pretty excited. We represent music appreciation. If you're on this channel for the first time or whatever, make sure that you go to our description and um, like and comment and subscribe to them if you haven't already. If you can purchase their music, that's even better. Um, and just give music a chance. Like, if you don't know the group, don't necessarily breeze past it. Say, oh, let me check it out. You might surprise yourself and like it. There's so much music out there that we haven't heard yet in the world. And you might surprise yourself and say, oh, I like that. I'm going to start following them or whatever. Hmm. So with that being said, let's get into this song, hear what it's all about. We'll commentate more afterwards. Oh, and also don't forget to subscribe to us. What are you waiting for? And hit notifications and make it all. So you should hopefully get every time a notification that we upload something. So here we go. Ooh. I like that. I'm 
Oh my God! Go ahead, Philly. Talk to me. Wow. Um. Well, I will say. I mean, out of all the songs that we have like reacted to of groups that I've heard in the past, you know, I feel like I'm maybe most. I was not expecting anything like that. I gotta say, it stunned me all. Like what we got versus what I was expecting in my head that it, we might be getting. I don't know how to even explain that, but. Um, I talk about a group that's like evolved. Obviously, their sound—they've been around a long time. I feel like they're, they're that, that was a very like hip sort of current. You know, they evolved the way that they put that all together. I, I mean, that was like I I genuinely liked it. I thought that they I thought it, I thought they sounded great. I thought it was a cool riff. I like that little bit of um in the beginning. I like that little beat that they had going with that. Like that, it almost reminded me of like a Nine Inch Nails type of thing. Not like, but uh, it was it, it was very very. Uh, really, very cool. I, I I thought they did a really good job of just evolving their sound into something that's a little bit more current. And a lot of bands had trouble with that shit. You know, they they try to once their their lane that they created where they got famous. You know, decades move on. Sometimes as the music taste changes, they have a hard time keeping up with that. They don't have the same success. So this is, I mean, to me, it's like reinventing yourself slightly. So um, I I would have never thought about really listening to them much. Uh, prior to just checking it out on this channel because that's just what we do, and it, it would intrigue me to hear more. I, I liked it a lot. I thought it was, yeah. I thought it was a good riff. I thought they sound the singer sounded great. I, yeah, I have no, I have nothing bad to say about it. Yeah, I was thoroughly surprised in a good way. Now, I only remember the one song as I said more than words. So remembering, remembering like the tempo and how that was sang and performed. It was a very slow paced song, but wonderfully um, portrayed to now hear this one where they're jamming out at a concert and to hearing the different levels because they amped it up and got all rocker like and was and that one. I'm not good with their names, but they were really doing great on the guitar riffs and everything like that. They're really rocking out. But yeah, when they changed it up 
And then like the one guy like broke it down. He's like, no G I no genealogy or stuff like that. And it almost had like a hip hop type of swag to it a little bit. And that was unexpected. So I like how that blended harmoniously yeah. with like the rocker part. And then yeah, the sounds of the guitar. And I know actually what Philly's referring to when he thinks of nine inch nails, because I just remember that song closer. There was per- certain guitar sounds that sounded a little bit like the sound that this that they were making in this song, and it was it was something that's unique. You don't hear it all the time, so yeah, I was really happy with that. And then you can also tell whenever I see videos of the audience, there's a saying that we have in the United States. I don't know if that's universal. The proof is in the pudding. So if you see an audience of that magnitude jamming out and rah rah in their hands and all that, they're excited. Because an audience like that will let you know if they're bored or they're not happy. They'll either leave or everybody's standing there looking like, what the hell? <laughs> well, so, I have my theories behind. I, I hear you with that, and I don't this necessarily disagree, but I have my theory about, like, that was clearly a concert, and that was clearly a live band, but what I, I mean, a live uh, crowd. But if I had to guess, they probably were performing that night, and they said, hey, we're shooting a music video for this song that we're doing, okay? And the what you're listening to is the is the studio audio. That's not that you're not hearing live that. So yes, the the them being on stage and the crowd is live. But if you say to a crowd, "Hey, we're shooting a music video. We need you guys to be fucking full of like energy." Oh, you're yeah. gonna get at you're gonna get that anyway because you're you're basically telling them they're gonna be a music video. You see what I'm yeah, saying? That's, yeah, that's true. That could very well be that. But, but I don't disagree with the sentiment of what you're saying, yes. Yeah, and we still know that that audience was there because I don't think yeah. all those people were like extras. <laughs> but No, it was, good. You, it was good. Plus, if you know an extreme, and and obviously if they've been around this long, that also is a testament that they must still be doing good because I think if they were a horrible band, they would have went extinct a long time ago like some other bands that I won't name who are extinct, basically. Um, so yeah, but I liked it though. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out, so love is, uh, love is thicker than blood. So, you know, he's talking about, I always thought, what was that other saying? That's the opposite of blood is thicker than water. That's the one that I couldn't get out of my mind. But, um, we know love is strong. We know love is powerful. We know love can make you do many things, either good or bad or in between, um, and to say it's thicker than blood, it's like saying like, wow, the strongs are the ties are so strong and everything like that, that it's even stronger than your own lineage. Uh, that's some strong ass love. So I guess there's many different ways that you can think of that. Um, and I guess it depends on the situation. Like, you know, I'm not going to say that I found the love of my life and that means more to me than my own mama. But I don't know. I might be, <laughs> I might be thinking of it differently. Let us know in the comments because this is where you come into play. We keep it honest here. I don't officially, officially know what that means, so help me out. Um, being honest. So, but nonetheless, even if that being said, I love the sound of their voices, the the music portion of it, the different change ups in tempo and stuff, and they really were rocking out. So I was jamming. You saw me jamming. That wasn't that wasn't for clicks or forced. Like if a song moves me. I just started dancing, so it did its part. So, yeah, let's vote. Are you done yapping? Okay, it's time to vote. Holy shit, man. I just fucking fell asleep. All right, so this is answer pass. This is thumbs down, thumbs up, thumbs down. Why is it answer pass? Well, answer pass, if it's ass, it sucked, and we're going to give it a thumbs down. And if it's not ass, it didn't suck, and we're going to give it a thumbs up. Taz will count to three. I will drum roll very quietly so I do not wake my dog. And uh, we will move on to the next one after we vote. Taz, are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Boom. Yeah. It's both of them are. I think it's three in the band. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a resounding thumbs up. I will. Uh, I will be adding that one to my playlist. I am. I am thoroughly stunned by what I got there. So, good stuff. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. We're moving on. Thank you so much, to everybody that joined the channel. Thank you to all the fantastics out there. Please, you know, let us know what other songs you want us to react to. Let us know down below what you thought of this. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back soon with more. I'm Philly. That's Taz. It's Taz and Philly Show. Have a wonderful night. Peace. Take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>